today we're going to be talking about interceptors. All right. So let's just go first and look at the docks. All right. So interceptors. So we have this um, and we have this. So it's, you can see interceptors.request um, says allows you to do something before an HTTP request is sent out. Useful for authentication if you have uh, if you need refresh tokens a lot. Um, and the same with response allows you to do something after an HTTP response is received. Useful for something like camel case and the keys of a response. Um, <clears throat> so we also have this example right here, which is a pretty good example. But let's just go ahead and dive in. Uh, so uh, one th well, one thing I wanted to touch really quickly. Um, Usually this is set in the provider. You can put it into the use fetch hook, um, but usually unless you're not debugging or something, for the most part, surely there's some cases that you wouldn't put it in the, the provider, but most of the time you're gonna put this in the provider. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing, I, uh, another thing I wanna touch on is uh, this syntax right here with these four arguments, um, that m most likely is gonna get replaced in the future with this because this is more scalable if we decide we want to pass more options or more things or like, you know, what if we just want path and route and we don't want URL? Um, well, with this way, we can just grab those out and we're not tied to having, um, <clears throat> we're not tied to, to having this parameter here. Um, anyway. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just start coding. Okay. So, um, so you can see we have this basic to do uh, to do app to do list. All right, so let's just run this and take a look at it. All right. So you can see we have that loading state and then we have our list. Um, and basically we're, we're fetching this from JSON placeholder, uh, which is a, a common um, tool for using, uh, for testing things like this. Um, okay, so. The first thing we're going to do is we want to import the uh, provider. Um, and then we're going to then use that here. And then we're going to make some global options. And then we're going to add some interceptors request. This does not have to be async. but I'm gonna make it that way just be, because re in response, same thing. Um, one thing I did wanna bring up is uh, you can do this. This is a syntax if you're not used to it. This is the same thing as this. Um, I just do this because it's a little bit easier for beginners to understand because it's, you know, key value. First thing let's do is let's just console log options just so we can um, see what's going on here. See, see if it's actually running. Um, and then let's do the same thing with the response. And we need to make sure in the request that we return the options. That is very important. Um, and then same thing here, except for we need to return the response. Then let's also add the uh, URL here. JSON placeholder. Okay. Um, so now we don't need this anymore. And but what we do need is we need to add the path, which is slash to do's. Aha. Okay. So now we have options and response. Um, so you can see these options are what we have by default. Um, and then here's our response and then here's the data from it um okay so uh why don't the first thing we do is why don't we just add a new header called options.headers or add options.headers.authorization equals this is a very common practice and then your token here cool um so I'm just gonna comment this out. Okay. Now, we made a request here. That is this to-dos right here. So I'm just gonna blow this up a little bit. Um, 
So to do's. So you can see uh, this is response. Okay. You can see that the authorization header got added to it. Um, and so basically this, uh, what, what's happening here is that this is going to, anytime that you use use fetch anywhere within um, your application, that's like within this provider, um, it's going to, anytime you use it, it's now going to add this header to your um, <clears throat> request. Uh, the reason why we have this async is because maybe we need to do like const token equals await, you know, get my token or whatever. And then we say token, right? Um, so this is, this is something pretty common. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, why don't we also go ahead and let's just uh <clears throat> let's just camel case the data um so let's first just let's take a, take a look at the data uh just to see what it, it looks like um so it looks like this is what the data looks like um and things are already camel cased but just uh let's just um let's maybe let's just just to, for demonstration purposes um let's make everything capital okay i know that this that's not a very common thing but let's just let's just do it just so that we can uh see how it works okay so response.data is what we need to set um and then uh, just because we're doing this here um just because it's, it's an array um we're just gonna use dot map usually i would use a library for this and then so to do, and then let's do object dot entries dot reduce uh, object dot entries to do um, dot reduce um, so basically what we want to do now is we want to say uh, <clears throat> key dot two upper case equals val return. Okay, and then let's just let's let's console log that just to see what what's going on. Response dot data. Aha! So you can see now that all of our keys are now uppercased. Um, <clears throat> again, that's not something that you would normally do. You would probably normally, most likely you would be getting something in snake case that would be like, you know, like user ID. You would probably get some kind of object like this. Um, and then you would want to be converting it into something like this. Um, that's a more common use case than just uppercasing everything, but this just gives you a generalized idea of how to get that done. So that's the general gist of, of using um, interceptors. And again, you can put this in here, just like that. And you'll be able to see this because see, we have this cool. Um, so it does work there, but generally you would want to put that in your global options. All right.